As we count down the days to March 2nd and the inaugural Jackson Food and Wine Festival, we continue our series on the event with this week's special episode with Chef Chair Nick Wallace. Hey, it's Paul Wolf for the front row seat to Conversations on Culture from Jackson, Mississippi. We call our podcast Soul Sessions. It's the people, places, and events that make the city a soul shine. Today, Edwards, Mississippi native Nick Wallace talks about his role with the festival, helping to attract top talent in Jackson, as well as his friends from past TV appearances like those on Top Chef. He also talks about how Mississippi has something to prove and how he believes the state can compete on a world stage. This event, I know, is years in the making in some ways. You know, Fondering kind of wet our appetite with a smaller festival in 2019. But this one, Jackson Food and Wine, the inaugural year, kind of takes it to the next level. And we're bringing in talent from across the country for this. Chef, how do you feel about serving as the chef chair? I thought it was very important for Jackson to be celebrated just because it's the capital of, of Mississippi. You know, honestly, Jackson is the star of Mississippi, however you look at it. Being the chef chair of the Jackson Food and Wine Festival is very important for me to shine as best as I can for my people because this is my community. It's it's important for me to celebrate the moment when I was on Top Chef as well. Because it was a great moment for Mississippi and I was the first Mississippi chef, you know, resident to be on Top Chef. And people was very proud of me and I'm definitely proud of myself, but they have favorites there. You know, of course, I'm sure I'm a lot of people favorites, but me and DeMar had a, a really touchable moment on Top Chef. Uh, he is, you know, a very awesome chef. He's going to be here. Me and Buddha had a uh, chemistry throughout the whole season that was uh, beautiful. And I, I love me some Buddha. Probably try to take him fishing or something while he's here. I'm oh, yeah. That Mississippi experience. <laughs> Uh, and Chef Ashley, she is a sister. She called me big bro. She's my sister. Uh, we won a lot of money together too on Top Chef. We, we have a chemistry as well, but we're also Restaurant Wars champion. And I want people to see all of us together. So it's very important for Mississippi to do all the shining. You went out and shone a light on global platforms, bringing that light then back to Jackson. What does it mean to you, knowing where you've come from, studying at the feet of your grandmothers? What does it mean to have all these fellow Top Chef contestants to come to your home to see where it all started? It's a feeling that I probably couldn't explain. It's almost like an energy, too. I've shared a lot of stories with my mom lately about I'm just glad that I have grace over me because that 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 moment and then this moment coming up for March the 2nd is pretty powerful. You know, the talent we have here in Mississippi, period, is incredible. We have so many talented people from pit masters to fine dining to Caribbean to African. Like everything is is on the line here. You know, it's, it's very important for us to come together just like some champs. That's what we are. This is our Super Bowl. Yeah, I love the football metaphor. And guess what? The game is rigged, right? I mean, Jackson has got the goods. Very true. <laughs> very true. When I travel with my wife and we go to different cities, we like to try new things, but we also like to try foods, especially that remind us of places back home. And then I have those things and I say, I just want my places from back home. Uh, why is that? Mississippi is it's it's a special place. Um, I, I have been, you know, trying to discover exactly how do you define Mississippi? Because I personally don't believe soul food is the way to go. I don't know what it is. So regardless of whatever we're doing, uh, Mississippi has a way to just almost like a chef kiss in a way it, with the hospitality, the way we talk to you, the way we approach you, the way we serve you. Like everything is full of respect. We have a lot riding on us always. You know, we're always kind of like the underdog too in a way. Yeah, I was going to say it's like we've got something to prove. 
Yeah, and I think we need to. Mississippi is is stereotyped for a lot of the bad messaging across the world. You know, majority of times you say something about Mississippi, it's full of past racism. That's that's how they identify Mississippi. And to be honest, like I've read more about racism than I have had in my life. Mm. My grandfather raised, you know, me and my grandmother, and my whole family on a homestead in Edwards, Mississippi which we were protected. And the reason why he wanted to be a homestead is so we didn't have to go into town. So I don't know about a lot of those stories. And then when I got a little older, my mom moved me and my sister down to Jackson. And that's where we've been ever since. So I believe him. I know it exists. But look, I live here every single day. I'm telling you, we're better than that. And that's not our whole entire story. Yeah. But we're a mixed bag, eclectic really eclectic we're we're a mixed bag but i think we're all the same though yeah and you being a storyteller with food we see that on the plates that you create some commonality right so i guess my next question then is what will we see on the plates that you create for jackson food and wine you're going to see something very special it's going to be something that has a a lot of thought into it and i want everybody to understand when i'm surrounded by that much talent and this is with having my Mississippi community. I mean, that's enough talent by itself. Right. But then now you're going to plop over this wonderful chef from Chicago. Then you got this other chef from, from New York that's going to be here, worked in Michelin Star Kitchens all his life. Then you got this very creative chef that love local fronts from all different directions when she's talking about her food. And that's Chef Ashley from Asheville. Come on. And you've got Kat Cora, too. I left her to decide because <laughs> I think in a way, Kat Core is in a lane by herself. I always tell Kat that she's a living legend. A lot of us, we got work to do. Kat is this year, is light years and miles down the road from us. So I respect Kat so much. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with her. She's been a close friend. I can call her. I can call her wife at any given time and anytime she needs something, they just call and I never say no. But the reason why I don't, she never says no to me. The home for Jackson Food and Wine, the Mississippi Museum of Art and their art garden. I know you have a history with them that's important to you. So the Mississippi Museum of Art has a very special place in my heart. And it's really because of Betsy Bradley. She is the chief in charge of the museum. She may not like the title, but, you know, I adore her so much. I think she's a really good symbol for Mississippi, not just the Museum of Art. I think she is the symbol profile, especially when it comes down to art. But the Museum of Art, I ran the Museum of Art for almost six years. I was the exec chef and culinary curator. Me and Julian Rankin, which was the marketing director there, we came up with Sip Source, which was a pop-up. We did it every third Thursday. We It got so big that we couldn't even feed everybody. We had to invite all the food trucks in the state of Mississippi that wanted to come. It's a, it's a very special place because it really challenged me to start writing food towards the some of the rolling exhibits. Julian really got in my head in a way that, Nick, you need to start saying food a little differently. It could still be playful. But challenge yourself. So I used to sit up in the galleries and just stare at the at the paintings uh, because I was trying to find inspiration. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to say is we came up with a, a garden in the back of the museum um, and we had roughly about 500 kids a week. They used to come by there. So we used to teach them uh, about soil. We used to teach them about different plants. So I just want everybody to know Mississippi Museum of Art is not just a place. It's a community. This is going to be the most exciting festival that Mississippi has ever seen. Come March the 2nd, I will see you there. My thanks to Chef Nick Wallace, the chef chair for the Mississippi Food and Wine Festival, coming March 2nd to downtown Jackson. Yes, VIP tickets are sold out, but there's still time to grab your general admission tickets, inviting you onto festival grounds at 6.30 p.m. We've got a link in the show notes, or you can just hit jxnfoodandwine.com now to score those tickets. Soul Sessions is produced by Visit Jackson, the destination organization for Mississippi's capital city. Our executive producers are Jonathan Pettis and Dr. Ricky Thigpen, and I'm our managing editor. You want to know more about the work we do at Visit Jackson? Well, just head to our website. You can find all of that and more 
at visitjackson.com. I'm Paul Wolf, and you've been listening to Soul Sessions. Soul Sessions.